Okay. I think now the mic is working. <laughs> it might be a quick one today. Or not. You know as much as I do. Okay. I might have to adjust some paints, which is fine. Hi, Susie from Denmark. I try to um, see your comments. <laughs> a little bit um my camera is kind of tilted so you see the canvas so it might be hard here and there to see what you write Okay, who's there? Hi, Tim. Hi, Marjorie, Susie, Carol, Lulu. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. <coughs> Nobody wants to hear me say hi to all of you so I'm saying hi hi Katie welcome hi Irene okay this is a canvas and the size is 14 by 18 inches um, birch ply cradled wood board this one I bought I did not um, make it myself I do not need this guy okay I need to adjust some paints this is interference pigment by this little piggy ball gown and what I usually do when I um, mix my pigments is kind of let them um, on a thicker side only so the pigments can dissolve better mix better with the fluids and then after like an hour I add my pouring medium and adjust the consistency Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, it's good for now. It's a little thick, but this is my favorite lately. Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. Pretty thick as well. I might just put that in a bigger container. So I have more space to mix that up. A little bit of the pouring medium and then I will also add some Josania gloss varnish. Just a spritz. Okay, I want to do something fun today. On the weekend, I got out. Okay, so for one, I watched Canela with her Dutch pours. And she, I saw her explain how to use the hairdryer. I also watched Karen a lot. And um, those two, even though they do totally different things, they know how that 
they know how to control the hair dryer, which I thought was. Uh, I, I never thought I would wanna do that, but guess what? I do. <laughs> okay, let's um, finish this up. Uh, this is oh black umber, raw umber. What's it called again? It's Black Umber by Josanya. And I put some drops of um, golden carbon black in there. That's the fluid acrylics. So drops is fine. Just to make it a little bit darker. I don't want your eye to know if it's black or brown. It's that guy. Okay, then I have, thank you, Amber, uh, Orangey Red, custom made. So in there is Primary Magenta, uh, Azo Yellow Medium, I think. Yes, also some of the, oops, Nico Azo Gold. And that's it. So it's, um, it's an orangey, yummy red. Ball gown, red, nickel laser gold, black umber, black black umber. This is my golden cell activator and I use all golds that golden makes, which is, let me get them out for you, is a bright gold. There is, oh no, those are the f same ones. <laughs> One second. Of course, when I need it, I don't find it. There it is. Okay, a deep gold, the fine bright gold, and the iridescent fine gold. So this is bright, this is just fine, and this is deep. I mix all three of them. Don't have a preference, just until I like the color. Okay, <clears throat> this is still thin, uh, thick. That's better, it's still thin, uh, oh, thick. <laughs> uh, my white cell activator. So it's gonna be gold and white cell activator. Ball gown, red, umber. Ah, this is exciting. Okay, let me pour my tea. That's what I'm gonna use, the Glidden Essentials in. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to. This guy. Already made a mess on my canvas. Damn. Let me scrape that off. It's already dry too. Okay. Wobbly. My spin is very wobbly lately because um, I mounted off. I mounted off. Can you say that? Well, I dismounted. I don't know. I took off the foot of it and the base that it stands on is just like that big. So it's a little wobbly. It's not how it usually is. Just saying in case you want to order one. Pour my tea now. Let me have a zip. Sorry. Okay, and let's put some of this on. <clears throat> so, hair dryer. It's 
So I'm kind of ballsy with this color combination because I love it and I'm totally hooked. Um, everything on Instagram lately is just this color palette with, you know, slight differences with um, brightnesses and sparkles and stuff. But it's basically the same. It's always nick laser gold. It's always red and always something sparkly. Sorry, I have to let the dog out. Goodbye. All right. So what I want to do with this is what I've been doing lately as well is to hide some of my colors underneath a solid color. And I thought by myself, Jessica, I thought, wouldn't that be awesome if I used a hairdryer and mix this layering up a little. Okay, ball gown on the bottom. A nickel azel gold. I keep saying nickel azel. So I use the spreader because I don't want too much of the paint on there. The reason is that the cells with this technique to me look way better if they do, if you don't use too much paint. I like the transparency of that happens when you stretch and spin and tilt. That's why I'm doing this. Also, I think um, you don't um, use, well, you don't waste paint too much. Okay, the red I personally like best when it's not on white because on white it always turns pink. So whatever I did there is what I didn't want. See, I'm kind of wild with this. Because <laughs> I mean, I'm using a hairdryer, it's gonna be a while, right? Because um, I'm not used to it. I feel like I could be used to it. Wait, is that a word? Oh, you guys talking dogs? I love dogs. <laughs> I don't have a very pretty one. I have a mud and I think everything is in in her. She's basically terrier, so it took me a while to like her. Cuz I've never been never been used to terriers. Now I am. Okay, so mm -hmm -hmm. Let me push this together a little. <clears throat> Let's do this. Not a lot of thinking, lots of doing. How about them apples? Okay, first layer of my brown. Next layer next to it. So 
So I want to cover up all my cutters and then bring them back out with my hair dryer. I did wait a little bit after um, mixing up the paints, but there's still air bubbles in it. So I hope it doesn't matter that much. Dog wants to come back inside. She's a toddler, I think. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, what was the plan? <laughs> okay. I think I will have something. What am I gonna do? I think I will put everything below for starters and just blow it up this way. I don't think at this time, I want to be um, ballsy. I want to be on the safe side. So let's do this. This is my nickel, nickel azo gold. I'm totally liking this underneath my. <coughs> And my white cell activator. That's why, because the um, Nicolaser Gold bleeds into the white and it looks cool. So that's what I'm doing there. And I have my gold cell activator and I will put that. I probably use way too much. Now I'm going to put on my air dryer, a uh, hair dryer, turn it on, low, no heat, and it might get a little loud for you guys, so. up this part but um, I hope you saw what I was trying to do and what I I always thought you have to be quick with a hairdryer but you actually don't if you have the right setting you can see where the cell activator starts moving that's the first one that will start moving because it's thinner so 
you see the little wave going in a direction and you can adjust from there. Once you see something move in, move your head right a little bit and see what happens with the to be moved paint um, and adjust. And you can always step back a little when it goes in the wrong direction. So I'm, um, I'm losing my fear and, and it's so much fun. So let me blow up this part. And I'm not sure if my cell activator will keep doing things. I probably have to tilt and do other stuff. <laughs> okay, those are all the bubbles popping, which I like because the bubbles of the black, brown, black pop and you see the red and the nickel and the gold. So that's kind of cool. Mm, there you see the colors underneath the brown. See how they get revealed and but they're still in the back. I, I really sorry. sorry, I really love that look. Let me keep working here. Okay, that's now I'm getting... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Why not play around a little? In addition... This one. Hmm. I have to hurry a little bit. Let me start. It. I think I have way too much paint on this. All stuff that I have to figure out because with a different technique that comes different. Oh, this is cool. Do you see that? I just try to scrape the sides to help my corners. Okay, no spin just for funsies. Oh, do you see why I love those colors? Damn. I'm so not liking this. Hmm. Not sure how I can fix that, actually. 
other than maybe putting a swipe on that. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Some of the gold. Some of the white. Some nickel and some gold. Where did I put the brown? I wonder. This is there it is. Okay. Why not? Right. I don't know if that was a great idea, but it's better than the white before. Okay. Not really sure what to do. And every time I don't know what to do, I spin it a little. Whites have to go off there. Oh, so much movement. I can't say I super love it, but I'm so fascinated by the colors, by the layering, by the hair dryer. Who would have thought? Um, this, is, this is crazy. This might be a little bit too much. Is it okay if I poured over that? You guys, I want to do this again. <laughs> You're not going to yell at me, are you? So um, if you don't want to see this die, um, you have to go now. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> There's still a lot of paint on it, so I could have probably spun that more. Um, I think altogether my paints are fairly thin, my house paint especially. It usually gets thin when it's hot out. Now it's cold, but it's raining, and I think humidity is even higher. So that might be the reason. Okay, let's do another one. Clean the hands. Okay. <clears throat> let's start with the 
white. Let's do this quick. Oh, do I not have enough in this can? That's possible. Let me scrape this out. Because there's a bunch of paint on the canvas. should be enough. I don't think I need to open another can. Okay. Just a little bit more in here. This time, I think, let's start in the, let's, let's stay in the middle. I thinned out my easel quite a lot. Did I say easel? Oh man. whatever this is because they can look but ugly oh if I got the hmm, ball gown let's put some on top because honestly the azo on the white looks the best Try to be really thin. Well, not me, the paints. <laughs> the layer of paint. That would have been the right terms. Let's get my brown. The brown I do want to have as thin as possible because I want to make it easier for the paints to pop through the brown. That's the whole thing behind this. Closing those up because <sighs> just trying to get those bubbles to pop. Oh, they don't want to go, they don't want to go. There's only so much I can do, right? Yay. <laughs> um, let's do this again. I said middle, right? Let's do it bloomish. I know. Way too much, Jessica. Way too much. White cell activator. Probably way too much as well. But what do I know? 
never done this before. Okay. <coughs> Hair dryer on low. So that seems to be my problem. I probably go too deep and then reveal more than just the orange and yellow, which I not necessarily want. Let's try this again. Okay, what do we think? I'm using way too much cell activator. That is for sure. Um, well, we're here to learn, right? So let's put a note down. Saying something like, um, Less is more. And well, I would like to see what happens if I did this. And then let's, um, Do this and spin it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. All I know is I'm having fun with this. Oh, oops, uh, sorry. I like this even less than the other one. Um, ugh, I'm making a mess too. 
that was plenty of paint. I'm glad I didn't open another can. Hmm. Woohoo. Okay. I like in this part here. Well, it's not super bad. Who still a lot of stuff moving. Mm, I like the dark corner over there, so try to get rid of the bottom. So I practiced the hairdryer all day yesterday and I thought I would get somewhere. Um, but it's hard to control it. But I realized that it's possible. So challenge accepted. We will see what comes out of this. <laughs> Holy cow. It's kind of nuts. Still moving. And I kind of get tried to get rid of this and that. I just try to put the weight of my paint in the corner that I want to get rid of. And then spin it. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> Yep. This is um a crazy one. Not that I do not like crazy. I mean, depending, depending on the crazy tea. So it's going to be interesting how this dries. I can tell. I think the white there at first I thought it's the cell activator, but it might even be pillow paint. Um, that not always dries well, but we'll see. Also, the amounts of cell activator that are still there, it will keep um, sinking and also hmm, um, the cells are probably going to get bigger. So we'll see how it dries. Let me get you down. I'm not sure if I love it. I have to be honest. Um, but you can't expect me to 
do something pretty with something I've never done before. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Okay. Mm, let me flip you guys. There we go. <laughs> it is pretty cool. All right. See how here the cell activator is so much. Um, there was so much on there that it kind of, you can see the um, movement of it flowing so yeah that's the main thing I learned today not too much selectivator I just felt like it would be easier to blow out but um, I will do some experiments with that and see if it's really necessary okay Let me show you the bow gown. See it in that corner there? A little bit. Look at those messy cells. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Deborah. Oh, damn. Thank you. Yeah, you can really get lost in it. Oh no, yeah. Why not? Yeah, the gl the gl glow is amazing, and that's the Nicoazel gold. It is. It's yeah. I think I love this part most. See how big that cell is, and just the lines through it. That's cell activator too. And those little ones. Up. Where's my finger? There. Here. Yeah, I'm not sure about the white part in the middle see how it starts to kind of get muddy um, I'll decide when it's dry though oh that's it for today thank you guys um, anything new hmm. no just uh, I don't know I'm happy I'm relaxing and I hope you have a good time too uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.